Okay, welcome back everyone. Um, I do want to point out a couple more people who have showed up. Uh, I want to point out Darren Bowie from Nokia. He's, gonna, he's our newest board member as of this morning. And I also want to introduce Sheila Sullivan, who's right here with Cody, also a brand new board member. And Reg Foster is somewhere in this room. He's with IBM, and he's one of our uh, trustees from our foundation. So uh, welcome. Um, we are back. Our next speaker must have a lot of fun at work because <laughs> she's in charge of customer engagement. She does the parade at Macy's. She does the fireworks. She does all the cause-related marketing, the flower shows. She's the one who c thinks about all of that strategy uh, uh, and makes it happen. And um, Lauren Anania, the director of cause marketing, is standing right next to her. Uh, the two of them are going to round out the conversation we started this morning. Because again, if there's no customer engagement, it's kind of uh, not a 360 wheel, is it? So here we are with Robin Rybell. Hello there. Thank you, thank you, Claire, and thank you, Luana, for inviting me here today. Uh, it's a pleasure, and I'm excited to be here uh, speaking uh, to all of you. But let me just clarify that um, while I, I do, um, in my media relations capacity, support the parade and the fireworks and all that, I don't personally do it yet. So um, there's a, a whole group of people called our uh, parade and entertainment group that actually mount all those activities. But we, we absolutely do support. So... Um, so, so I wanted to share that while I've had the privilege of shepherding Macy's Cause Marketing programs for about the last year, um, Macy's actually kind of dipped its toe officially into the cause marketing world about six years ago uh, with our AHA Go Red for Women campaign, more of, of which on that later. Um, and since then, our involvement with cause marketing has expanded uh, fairly dramatically and now encompasses uh, seven major national efforts and scores of important uh, regional initiatives. Um, so since my assignment today is to share with you a bit about how we engage and through these programs, I've put together a look at the campaigns with a little behind the scenes about how we approach our partnerships, how we activate, and how we engage both our consumers and our associates. Uh, so a lot about the tactics, really. Um, and uh, I hope that some of you will be somewhat familiar with some of them. So that's my, that's my hope. You can tell me afterwards if you've ever heard of any of them. Uh, so so uh, starting here with our, uh, our cause campaigns. Um, giving back to the communities where we work and live is a cornerstone of Macy's. And, um, you know, to the earlier point about uh, these kinds of campaigns needing to be authentic, um, you know, that is very important to us um, because it's really part of our DNA. That's maybe a, an overused phrase, but in our case, I think it's really true. Uh, we believe that strong communities provide a better environment for our stores to do business, for our employees and our customers um, to, to live and work in those communities. Um, the campaigns that we've embarked upon uh, really support our long-standing tradition of giving back to the community, and we've done that for over 150 years. Uh, we support causes that resonate and are very important to our customers and employees. 75% of employees and 70% of our customers are women, not surprisingly. So throughout the year, our stores invite our customers to join us in supporting causes that make a difference to arts, education, health, social services, civic and environmental organizations, both nationally and in local communities. So in, 19, in 2009, we raised more than $36 million through these campaigns, and we've generated over 700 million impressions last fall alone, which um, have been estimated at sort of a $10 million value. So that's a little bit about um, what some of the results are. So a little bit about our cause marketing campaigns overall. Uh, we don't just use the name of our nonprofit partner and make a donation. We believe we're forming a partnership and we're seeking their active participation. 
we strive to create win-win partnerships with our nonprofit uh, partners, which represent a fundraising opportunity and really unprecedented visibility and marketing support. We believe that we help our nonprofit partners reach new audiences, expand their donor base, and drive social change. Uh, we are most successful when the nonprofit partners take an active role in leveraging their communication and marketing assets to highlight Macy's support uh, and promote our in-store campaign. Uh, when we get our local staff and volunteers into the stores and we inspire uh, and motivate our employees to act. So a little bit about my Macy's because um, that is our uh, our merchandising strategy and our new business strategy. Um, some of you know we're a national brand with more than 800 stores across the country now. Um, in 2008, we rolled out the My Macy's localization program. The goal uh, of that initiative is to ensure that our core customers surrounding each Macy's store find the merchandise assortments, size ranges, marketing programs, and shopping experiences that are custom tailored to their needs in their market. That's a pretty innovative program, pretty hard to do um, with 800 stores, but it's going remarkably well and we've had tremendous success. Um, so that is our future. Um, that strategy is not limited alone to merchandise assortments and size ranges. Um, it applies to our cause marketing folks, focus as well. Uh, our customers and our employees are motivated by the local impact of our cause campaigns. And we work with our partners to um, activate nationally on a local level. So when you hear all politics is local, I think we can say now all our, our marketing and our merchandising is local as well with a nod to uh, Speaker O'Neill. Uh, so our cause marketing campaigns that we're going to talk about today, uh, Go Red for Women, um, which, uh, of which we are the founding national sponsor, which supports the American Heart Association. Uh, we have the Great Give Back program, which we just concluded, which supported national parks, the National Park Foundation. Uh, our Respect campaign supports the Family Violence Prevention Fund, and um, we have made that uh, an internal campaign as well. Uh, Book a Brighter Future supports Reading is Fundamental, a national our national literacy partner. Shop for a Cause, uh, hopefully many of you in this room have bought a ticket to Shop for a Cause at some point or other uh, and have supported one of over 10,000 charities around the country. Uh, Thanks for Sharing is our uh, big holiday rewards program that has national and regional beneficiaries. And of course, Believe, which, is, uh, which supports uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. On the, the regional side, just a top, top line view, Macy's Passport presents Glamorama. Those are uh, big fashion events that happen in Chicago, Minneapolis, San Francisco, and Los Angeles and support uh, both uh, AIDS uh, awareness uh, organizations as well as Ronald McDonald House and, uh, and the uh, Chicago Arts uh, Institute. Uh, we also uh, have a museum adventure pass in uh, Detroit and in Chicago, a San Diego Museum Month, Florida Teacher of the Year, uh, National Community Shopping Days, and local ones, Nashville March of Dimes, and uh, many AIDS walks um, around the country. So a few keys to success. This is what we think is important about partnering on this kind of level nationally. And what we've learned, I mean, to the point of um, you sort of start and you uh, evaluate and you figure out what went right and what re went wrong. This is sort of a lot of hard-won knowledge at this point. Um, what makes Macy's Cause Campaign successful? In reviewing, we've identified the following as key success factors. The most successful campaigns inspire and motivate our employees and connect with our customer in one or all of three ways, either by providing an immediate value at the register offering a simple way to make a difference in the local community or through a unique and ultimately compelling experience. So uh, a little bit about engaging employees of which we have 170,000 um, around the country. Their active participation is absolutely key to the success of our cause campaigns, which follows with, with what Michael said earlier. 
um, without our employees being involved and activated, none of this works for us at all. Um, the majority of our campaigns are, in fact, executed in store at the register, require the employees to be aware and motivated to engage the customer, and, and really because they are the ones um, asking the customer to participate in a, in a very personal and intimate way. Uh, so here's a little bit about how we do it. Uh, to communicate effectively, we've learned absolutely to keep the message as simple as possible. Uh, we leverage all internal communication vehicles, our websites, our store rally scripts, our newsletters, our magazines, our executive webcasts, um, and even our screensavers on all our com computers around the whole company have the same message about whatever is our most important campaign at that moment. Um, our employees are very motivated by our campaigns. If we can clearly articulate to them why it's important and tell our employees how the dollars raised will make a difference in their community, we know that we've really engaged them and we've won. Um, we also work closely with uh, our employee volunteer program, which is called Partners in Time, um, and that helps to layer on you know, additional experiential activities that the custom, that our associates can participate in. Um, so here's uh, our Macy's Culinary Council chef, Gail Gand, joining a few employees um, from our Macy's Galleria store in St. Louis at a um, local food bank, and this was during our Come Together campaign uh, last fall. So our most successful campaigns uh, to sum up, our, our happen when our nonprofit partners utilize local staff and volunteers to actively work with their local Macy stores to execute programs and inspire our employees to act. One particular partner that does an absolutely extraordinary job in engaging our employees at the local level is the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, they have uh, an alignment local chapter with uh, just about every store, and that really helps to inspire our employees, connect with customers, and give our associates an opportunity to connect by granting wishes in our stores, which is um, very, um, very important. Our employees actually make wishes come true by pitching in as personal shoppers, decorating stores, are offering their expertise for makeovers. And there's Olivia smiling getting a makeover um, during her uh, last uh, her shopping spree at Macy's. So um, between Thanks for Sharing, which is our holiday rewards program, and Believe, Make-A-Wish representatives visited our stores last year over 7,000 times during the 2009 holiday, cam holiday campaign. Um, that's a, that's a lot of visits, and that really does help to, to make this uh, successful. Um, you know, in terms of uh, building local relationships that last beyond the in-store campaign, um, these kinds of partnerships um, are, have, have worked really well during the Reading is Fundamental uh, campaign that usually happens around back to school. Uh, for example... Um, after connecting with RIF uh, at Children's Harbor in Norfolk, Virginia during the 2008 campaign, uh, the store manager employees of Macy's Greenbrier in Chesapeake, uh, Virginia, adopted a family served by the program. And this happens all over, all frequently, all over the place. Um, the store provided a week's tuition for one lucky preschooler. And the employees also took up a collection, bought gifts such as new coats, bikes, and a computer for the family. So you can see that you know these things are more than just um, a screensaver, but really resonate. Uh, additional benefits of engaging employees. Um, this is a note from Melissa Sabin, the personal shopper at Herald Square. I love being the liaison for Macy's and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. For me, it's a wonderful way to give back and a great feeling to know that I work for a company that cares about these children and knows how important it is to give back to the community. So that was just um, one many letters from our associates that we get. So basically, ways that we have engaged our customers. Value appeal, local relevance, and it should be experiential. 
One of the ways that we engage customers in our cause campaigns is to provide value. Our cause campaigns provide our customer with an opportunity to support a cause that's important to her, again, 70% are women, with a small donation or activity while providing value such as a discount offer. Uh, campaigns like Macy's Wear Red Sale that provide an immediate value to the customer have really um, excelled. So as I mentioned before, we're the national founding sponsor of Go Red for Women. Uh, last year we, uh, or yes, last year we hosted our first Wear Red Sale, which was a five-day store-wide event. It was very successful, and um, we did it again this past February. Uh, we usually hold it uh, in, in February, right around um, Heart Month, and uh, coincides with Valentine's Day, which we always think is sort of a nice partnership there, nice timing. Uh, the uh, engagement part, customers wear red in store, they receive an extra 20% off. Those not wearing red make a $2 donation to receive um, a red dress pin. So this past year, Wear Red Sale was tremendously successful. Just five days through the sale of the $2 red dress pins, we raised more than a million dollars for the American Heart Association, uh, compared to nine, 970000 the year before. We use TV, newspaper, radio, all speaking to Macy's relationship to the AHA uh, and to, to the value to the customer. And uh, this, we, we believe, reinforced the connection. Also this year, we added a new element. We created and sold a, a red dress. Um, our INC private brand did that. And um, you know, you'd think since it's the logo is the red dress, we might have done that before, but we just did it this year for the first time. It was a big hit. Um, we did really well. We sold about halfway, all, almost all of them, and um, we're going to, to do that again going forward uh, next year and increase it a uh, little bigger collection, maybe do a red trench coat. So is that a good idea? Think you buy a red trench coat? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so uh, we've heard from our, our local AHA chapter that a Macy's employee uh, at Rivertown Crossings in Michigan had a young woman approach her counter and ask if she could have the pin. Basically, the woman said that she'd just left the hospital after suffering a heart attack. She'd heard about Macy's support for Go Red, and she had to make Macy's her first stop. So, that was, we thought, amazing. This is important to our customers, as we've said. Uh, our customers are more likely to support a cause campaign if the dollars raised go back to their community. And um, we, we strive to make all our national campaigns locally relevant. Uh, riff and book a brighter future. This is really uh, terrific and a, a personal favorite. Uh, the activation, um, customers are invited to give $3 and receive $10 off one purchase of $50 or more. So $1 supports the local RIF program, one supports multicultural literacy, <clears throat> and one supports uh, the nationwide efforts. Uh, so, great example, locally relevant national campaign, um, and uh, in uh, 2009, we sold more than 2 million coupons uh, in eight weeks, and I personally had the honor of um, presenting a $6.5 million check to Reading is Fundamental this past year. So, um, you know, obviously these, um, these notions work. Uh, another way we engage our customers is to create compelling experiential campaigns that have a lasting impression on our customers. Uh, it extends, the experience extends beyond traditional marketing vehicles. And thank you. It includes uh, unique in-store displays, interactive sitelets, social media apps, and community events. Um, and two wonderful examples of these campaigns we think are the Believe campaign and Come Together. So launched in 2008. This is, the, this is one I'm praying that all of you have been in the store and know something about writing a letter to, to Santa and um, collecting a million dollars to support Make-A-Wish. Um, it's uh, our, we call it our nostalgic holiday campaign. It was inspired by the 1897 editorial, Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus. Um, so yeah, as I said, one dollar for every letter received brought into the store during the period of the campaign, um, adding up to a million dollars for Make-A-Wish uh, every year. And I think um, with that, we've become uh, Make-A-Wish's uh, largest contributor, totaling over 
corporate dollars over nine million over the past. Nine million last year, so an amazing achievement. Um, fully integrated marketing, award-winning marketing campaign, include, including innovative print ads, uh, memorable TV, um, using a lot of our celebrity designers, so I'm hoping you've seen that. Uh, In-store experience, the Believe stations include um, an R.H. Macy's mailbox, letter writing station, a Believe meter showing the growth of the donations, um, and opportunity for the customer to engage in the campaign. It's an example of uh, one of our, what, uh, t at the time, innovative newspaper ads. Uh, we call it a disruptor. And that's a shot of what the Believe Station in-store looks like, which is a very important part of the in-store customer experience. So this past year, we added a few new elements to keep it fresh and new, and of course we have a few coming up for this year, which I can't talk about yet, but are very exciting. Uh, so we, we held a Tell Us Why You Believe online contest, which invited customers to send us their short essays and videos about why they believe in the spirit of the holiday season, and um, customers could vote, and that was very popular. Uh, we embarked on a Macy's National Santa Tour uh, the real Santa, the only and the real Santa from the parade, uh, hopped on a, a bus and visited uh, 50 cities, I think it's 25 cities, uh, across the country uh, to, um, to visit the Make-A-Wish chapters in each city and welcome folks uh, into the store to have a chance to say hello to the real Santa, and that was tremendously well-received. We also created uh, the first annual National Believe Day, uh, which was held on Friday, December 11th, which was a day to recognize kindness and acts of kindness from coast to coast, and we'll, we'll be repeating that again. Um, we also premiered a new original animated special called Yes, Virginia, which was inspired by Virginia O'Hanlon's letter to the editor of the New York Sun in 1897. And uh, we held the, the media kickoff in Virginia O'Hanlon's actual home, I think on West 95th, which, w and, and believe it or not, her great-great-grandmother, grandmother, um, and, and very young members of the family from all over the country actually gathered and participated with us. So it's a real family, it really happened. She really lived here, and um, it was an incredible event. Um, and. Uh, for the special, it actually fulfilled a wish of a uh, ten-year-old wish kid uh, Taylor, who whose dream was to um, be in a, a, a film, and we um, recruited her to be the voice of one of the animated characters. So um, it really worked on many levels. So um, believe is a campaign we feel as is an example of a compelling experience for everyone. It reflects the spirit of the season and embodies the mission of a wish experience from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. It offers a hands-on way for customers to give back to their community. It inspires school and community groups to organize large letter writing campaigns in support of it. So there was you know, that element in the community, which is really a groundswell and more than we actually expected, but, does, um, but is a big part of the success of the campaign. Um, and other kinds of groups, not just schools. Uh, in Chicago, a group of firefighters came together and uh, collected more than 12,000 letters to Santa and brought them all in at once, which was a you know, terrific experience for the store and the community and the media. Uh, so um, more than 1.5 million letters last season, um, which resulted in the million-dollar donation. So um, pretty successful campaign. Um, another... Um, great campaign from last fall was Come Together, and uh, Carol Cohn and I were talking about that a few minutes ago. Come Together supported Feeding America, and the idea there was to help raise 10 million meals, so a lofty goal. Uh, and the activation there was to invite our customers to host their own dinner parties and asking their guests, instead of bringing a hostess gift, uh, like a bottle of wine or a cake or a dessert to make a donation to Feeding America instead. 
and you could do this either in store or online or directly to uh, Feeding America. And um, we did, in fact, achieve our goal of 10 million meals. So um, that that was a kind of a breakthrough experience because it was uh, really went beyond the traditional just taking the donation at point of sale, but into sort of a whole new world uh, for us and um, was uh, terrifically exciting for our associates and for um, our customers and really solidified the existing bond that our stores already had uh, through a program called Bag Hunger that we've been doing for a number of years. So, um, so just in sum, a uh, couple of elements. We, um, the site enabled customers to design their own custom dinner party, uh, create invitations, read and download dinner party hosting tips from the likes of Martha Stewart and Jessica Simpson. Um, we, to kick it off, we hosted the world's largest dinner party, which was simultaneous uh, uh, customer-centered events in all in 675 of our stores, in partnership with local food banks. Um, we worked with our culinary council and our in our fashion experts to host 60 culinary and fashion events across the country, and um, we had uh, tremendous feedback uh, on all levels. Uh, just an example of customer feedback, uh, this was a wonderful opportunity for me personally and my dinner guests to give back to the community. It gives me a genuine warm-hearted feeling for Macy's in organizing and matching the contributed funds for such a needed community service. Um, so, uh, and just another uh, letter from a customer. So, in sum, um, key success factors uh, that contribute to our most successful cause campaigns. Our national campaigns really work when we can activate locally and tell the story of how the dollars raised will impact the local community. To successfully activate locally, we have found it's best when our nonprofit partner has a similar structure to ours. So the nonprofit partner must either have a wide network of local chapters, programs, or volunteers that can locally activate and promote the campaign. So this wide network of local chapters, um, programs, or volunteers is essential. Um, when the nonprofit partner's mission inspires and motivates our employees, um, and they do this through visiting stores and building local re relationships, we really win. And lastly, campaigns must resonate and connect with our customer. We do this through value appeal, offering an easy way to give back to the local community, or we do it through a unique and compelling experience, um, such as believe or come together. So that's basically our story about uh, our campaigns, and um, I, um, I hope that some of them um, actually were familiar to you. So um, the first question is, please give examples of do's and don'ts from what you've learned um, regarding customer engagement to make cause marketing successful. Well, that's, that's easy. Um, the first don't is don't make it too complicated. Um, when you're, we're talking about 170,000 employees, you're talking about 800 stores, uh, the message has to be very, very simple um, because that sales associate has to, uh, you know, it, it, her, her job is, is really to, first and foremost, to sell the, the merchandise. So she has to be able to do that. She has to be able to um, open a charge account for the customer, take that person's uh, payment if they so wish, answer questions. So layered on top of this, our cause marketing campaign needs to, to, to be very easy to, uh, to execute. Um, the other thing we've learned on the nonprofit side is, is really, as I've said about a hundred times, it, the mission needs to, to resonate with our, our um, associates, be important to the customer, and the nonprofit's structure has to be in sync and in alignment with uh, our store structure. So it really only works if there are chapters all over the country and they can, can really support. Can you think of any other? Do or don't. That's no. I think that that I think that that covered it. Okay. Keeping it simple. Simple. 
Okay. Um, the next question is, do you vet or approve the local charities that benefit from Shop for a Cause? And do you try to em emphasize a few themes or focus areas? Shop for a Cause is the program that is open to the, the broadest uh, number of charities. So the, the defining uh, element is that they're a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Um, and that is the on just about the only factor. Other than that, the field is wide open. And, and that's a way that, you know, since we can only do, say, six or seven of these, you know, major marketing campaigns uh, a year at the most, uh, Shop for a Cause is a way that we can include everyone. Um, so that, uh, by definition, means that the, the door is open on that. Hopefully that answers the question. Um, next one is, can you explain the Great Give Back program to benefit the National Park Foundation? I'm going to let you take that one. Okay, sure. So the um, Great Give Back campaign was something that we launched this April. Um, it was in support of the National Park Foundation. We've been a partner with the National Park Foundation since 2008. We've raised more than $5 million for them. So this year we decided to do something a little different. What we did in celebration for them was to celebrate Earth Day and the 40th anniversary of Earth Day by asking our customers to make a donation at the register um, to support MPF, a dollar, and with a Macy's match. So we were willing to match up to $500,000. So we really wanted to invite our customers to help us raise a million dollars for the national parks. Um, in addition to this, we, as Robin spoke to, really layered on Partners in Time volunteer activities. Um, for National Park Week and National Volunteer Week, we hosted five um, Partners in Time volunteer activities with the National Park Services um, in national parks across the country and spent a day really out in the community making a difference. Um, and we also collected donations online, and we created a sitelet called Macy's.com backslash give back, and it's actually still up if anyone's interested. The campaign ended um, last Friday. Okay. Next question. Um, how does Macy's national effort embrace so many different causes, rather than focus on a few for maximum impact and awareness? I'm not, I'm not sure. Can Why whoever doesn't. wrote that question uh, give me a little more background? So, go ahead. Uh, yeah, hi. Sir. Hi. Well, I think that's right. Um, I think, uh, and, and, you know, I'm certainly a, an admirer of Avon's uh, programs and have attended the, um, the annual dinner. Uh, I, you know, I think that our research has uh, indicated that there are a few core areas that we need to focus on that are in line with our, uh, our customer base, which we said is, you know, largely women, uh, though of all ages. So that I think when you, you know, you look at, um, you know, women's health uh, with AHA and our breast cancer awareness efforts in October for the BCRF, you look at RIF um, for literacy, um, you know, on the environment side, the national parks, and, and then um, at holiday time we, we have Believe, and this past year we wanted to respond to what we felt uh, was a really uh, serious need to um, help our customers and our friends who um, were not faring well in the recession with some basic services like um, um, helping food pantries to keep their keep their uh, goods replenished. So uh, I think this is this is sort of reflective of the nature of our business that um, we're a department store, and so we have a lot of publics to serve. And so rather than focusing on one or two stupendous, you know, billion-dollar efforts, we think that this is, um, you know, in keeping with um, the cadences of our, of our own business and, and what our customer base really expects and wants to see from us. And, 
you know, in, in truth, it is a little bit of a do everything approach, but um, but that that really is a, a lot about retail um, and and kind of being of the moment to a degree because that's really what our customers expect us to do. Um, the next question is: What kinds of local visibility do you give to local cause marketing efforts? Oh well, so. Uh, particularly in the regional campaigns, but also for the national, uh, we we spend a lot of time thinking about how to support. So, uh, besides the the, the advertising, um, we do a lot of local outreach from a media relations standpoint. So that it's it's very very important to us that uh, the these local efforts are well known in the community. And you know, truth be told. Most of these regional efforts uh, have have been part of the fabric of the community and the local stores for many, many years. So as our company has consolidated, I mean, you, you will, you're all aware that there used to be many more brand retail names in the marketplace than there are now. Um, Macy's has been very respectful of the heritages of um, many of those um, brand names and has kept those uh, iconic events and campaigns and programs alive in those communities. So, um, so, so that we uh, we we see that as our mission, and we see it very important to do that and um, make it uh, a, a clear uh, priority to make sure that those campaigns and those programs are supported. And then, um, speaking of local campaigns, do you utilize employee input in the reflection? Um, process of local cause marketing partnerships? Um, you know, I, I think that we can do a better job of that, but we have some big successes to talk about at the same time. Um, there's a, uh, an employee campaign called Bag Hunger that has been a cornerstone of our associate involvement for many, many years. And um, I don't even know how many tons and tons and tons of food has been collected all over the country through all our stores for for how many years? I mean, Ed Goldberg may know better than I how many years it's been. Um, so uh, so that when we thought about uh, our Come Together program, which supported Feeding America, it really wasn't much of a leap in terms of what resonated with our associates um, to know that that would be uh, successful. Um, we also, we do surveys. We, um, we ask our... Um, our general managers, our leadership at the store level, to give us feedback, and um, and uh, I'm getting the high sense. I'm going to stop, so I'll just finish with. Um, but the the latest way that we've been able to respond on a local level is through a new program called My Macy's um, District Marketing Grants. So we now have the ability to have these causes and opportunities bubble up at the very local level. Have the store management. Uh, agree to support it, have it approved at the senior level, and then funds um, are allocated to support these programs around the country. So that's a, a whole new campaign that it is now going to really continue to connect us um, very locally to our communities, in addition to everything else we've chatted about here today. So uh, with that, I'll say thank you for this opportunity to address you. It's been a privilege, and I thank you very much. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, that was great. Uh, really gave a terrific view of, of what's going on in consumer engagement. Um, next up is uh, Stuart Elliott and Chris Graves, who's the uh, global CEO of Ogilvy Worldwide. But first, we're going to take a quick five-minute break. And please come back, and uh, we'll, we'll be ready to roll very promptly. Thank you.